Okay, now it's time to make my mother's famous potato salad. And I have to tell you, one of the more disappointing things is, try, is getting a good salad out there. Nothing worse, and I mean nothing that I can think of, than these salads that are industry salads that you get in some of these supermarkets. They come in, in these plastic tubs, and they are God awful. Okay, so that's the worst. Then comes the homemade potato salad, which some are pretty good, but most are very bland. My mother's potato salad kicks, and there's a secret component to it that, well, secret may be a little strong, but there's a component to it that makes the salad pop. And so this is a really good potato salad. It's not, the texture of it is a little different than most potato salads. I would say it's like a hybrid between a traditional firm sliced potato salad and a chunky mashed potato type texture. It's like a combination of the two. But anyway, we're gonna get it started here. I've got a pot with uh, water almost, uh, you know, getting hot. It's got, uh, we're gonna put some salt in there. You know, voila, that's it, no big deal. Now I've got some potatoes that I picked up this morning. It is a russet potato, that works fine. And we're just gonna drop them in there. I'm figuring on uh, like a five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a pretty big batch. Let's go for 10 potatoes. Okay, so the potatoes have been cooking for a while, and now we're going to test them to see if they're done. So now here is the potato. I've got a skewer, and I'm going to insert the skewer. I like the way it feels, okay? I can feel what the texture of the potato is. And now I'm going to calculate that it's going to, it's going to cool, because I don't like to run cold water over my potatoes because you, you're just washing away things. I, I don't want to wash away anything. I want, it, I want it to have its natural flavor. So these are ready. So now I'm going to pour off the water. Just place these potatoes on this tray and, and let them kind of air cool. before we move on to the next step. So, I'm taking them out here. I'm going to set them off to the side, and they're going to cool. Okay, now while the potatoes are cooling over here, we're going to uh, dice up some onions. This is a regular Bermuda onion. And yes, it's Vidalia onion season, and you know what? I love a good Vidalia onion. And the thing with a Vidalia onion is you can actually eat it like an apple. Uh, but for that same reason, I don't want to use it in my mother's potato salad. Because I want pop. I want, I want the potato salad to be a little rough. Uh, the Vidalia onion is just too smooth for this potato salad. So I like to use a regular Bermuda onion. Okay, now this is, this is basic. Uh, onion cutting 101, okay? First you go across. Notice I don't cut all the way through the onion because this little stem here is what keeps the onion together. If I cut all the way through, it would fall apart, but notice it's not falling apart because I'm not going all the way through. Again, I'm using my fingers as a guide, and this takes practice. It's like anything else. Now, I'm going to go across. And of course I'm going to start tearing because it's an onion. We're looking for a pretty fine. It doesn't have to be immaculate. But you want you want a pretty fine dice with this, okay? So that's nice and fine. 
and you see a couple of little pieces that maybe are a little big. You just go over it a second time a little bit, a little rough, a little rough there. And uh, you know what I'm thinking. You know what I used to do in the kitchen with pieces like this. If I'm making chicken stock or fish stock, uh, fumé de poisson, okay, I would just cut this up rough and throw it in a stock. If you're making sautéed onions, boom, 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 sauté them up. It goes great with my uh, German sausage assortment. Let's spend a couple minutes on this knife. This is an excellent serrated knife. Very, very popular in kitchens. Most kitchens, everybody's got this. You know, and, and it also comes in the longer blade. I, I like the short blade. It's great for the onions you just saw. It's excellent for bread and for tomatoes. Uh, it maintains its sharpness for an incredible amount of time. And because it's offset, you see my knuckles are not hitting the board. So the, that, that, I mean, a good serrated knife is great to have, but the offset serrated knife is a must. Now we're gonna chop some chives where a regular knife is the, uh, <coughs> is the appropriate tool. So we're gonna chop some chives. So these onions and chives are going to go into the potato salad at the appropriate time. And they will go in right before I reveal the secret ingredient. Continue with my mom's potato salad, and let me get a fresh kitchen towel here because we're going to. The potatoes are still warm, actually kind of hot, and I'm going to peel them while I lay them in this towel. Now, if you if you're looking for a firm, a firm slice uh, for your potato salad, you can. Um, just put these potatoes in your refrigerator and let them set up overnight. I like for this potato salad, I'm looking for a creamier type texture. I'm not looking for the slices to maintain their individuality. I'm looking for the salad is going to kind of like, it's going to be, like I said, a, uh, a hybrid between the individual sliced potato salad and a chunky, like, mashed consistency, somewhere in the middle. So, now I'm going to peel the potatoes with a little paring knife. Standard uh, peeling of potatoes. Okay, continuing on with my mother's potato salad. The potatoes are cool now, and I'm just slicing them up. If I see brown spots along the way, I kind of take them out. It doesn't have to be uh, doesn't have to be perfect. So we're slicing them all up. And you know what? This is a great salad with your anything you're grilling. It doesn't matter what it is. And I try Chef Michaels. We we I, I try to find things that have multiple applications. Uh, like the cauliflower gratin, the macaroni, gourmet mac and cheese. These things can be used with so many items. And because, you know, I really, I, I know you're busy. And I want to make your life easier. And that's, and that's what Chef Michaels is all about. Quality, convenience, consistency.
Alright. Okay, so the potatoes are all sliced, and now we're going to complete the salad. Well, semi complete it. And uh, let's see. First, we have the onions. And then we have some nice chopped chives. Chopped parsley goes well too. Make sure you wash the parsley. Nothing worse than dirty parsley. I'll tell you what, it'll ruin whatever you're making real quick. And now comes the big moment. What is the secret ingredient, Chef Mike? What is it that's going to give your potato salad the big pop? Well, here it comes. It's very simple, actually, like most good things. It is a imported white wine vinegar, or in this case, champagne vinegar. Um, and it's going to give the salad a real edge. Chef Michael, can we use red wine vinegar? Well, you can. But if you use red wine vinegar, it's going to affect the color of the salad. Okay, so now we've added the secret ingredient, the white wine vinegar, or in this case, the imported champagne vinegar. Let me show to you again. Any gourmet specialty store, you can get it at Wegmans as well. And I'm going to give it a little extra pop here. A little salt and pepper. And then I'm seeing that I have a very good Dijon mustard. The Dijon mustard is kind of optional, but it will work very well. And this is good in the marinade. Okay, so we got the Dijon mustard. And now we're going to mix that up. Oh. I tell you, this is, I just I love the scent coming off of it already. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put this off to the side and we're going to let this marinate with the mustard and the vinegar and, and the chives and everything. And then we're going to finish it with some mayonnaise. Okay, now we're going to put the finishing touches on my mom's potato salad. The potatoes have been marinating with the uh, imported champagne vinegar and now I'm going to put in I'm using the Hellman's. If I have to use store-bought store mayonnaise, I'm going to use Hellman's. If I'm going to use store-bought ketchup, I'm going to use Heinz. Why? Because they are superior products. Now, it should be noted, in a restaurant situation, I would make my own mayonnaise. It's really not that difficult. If you have a Roboku, uh, you just you put a, like five, six egg yolks in a Roboku, and you whisk, uh, you turn the Roboku on, uh, food processor, if you will, and you just slowly pour in uh, a light olive oil, and it turns into, you know, mayonnaise. You have lemon juice, you have vinegar, but that's basically, it. it's, it's an emulsion. Okay, so, um, like I said, you can make, uh, and you know what, I'm, uh, we'll probably make, uh, we'll have some making, your own mayonnaise demonstrations going forward. But for right now, uh, the Hellman's product will do just fine. So we're mixing in the, the Hellman's, and this is a really good batch of my mom's potato salad. I can feel it. That the sound it makes when I'm when I'm when I'm moving it, I just the sound tells me that this is a great batch of potato salad. Now, let's see. Let's give it a taste. Let's get a spoon here. Okay. As they say in France, bon. 